Working with Reality Capture, the process is to add images from the folder. Like these. These are all coming out of the Light Studio. And then you got the picture at the bottom. Let's flip it over inside the Light Studio and get those pictures. Import them. And you hit Align Images. It aligns all the images around the. Aligns all the images around the item. Here's that's where you see them. Those are all camera locations. It gets a really, really fast triangulation of them, I've, I've found. I was really happy with that. It's superior to a smart 3D. Okay, then after you align the images, you go, to re you go through the workflow and you calculate the model at normal high quality. Then you do the texture, calculate model texture. And it will texture the model. Then you hit mesh and you export the creation as object to Then you get these Then you get these um, settings here that you can change to export the colors, true or false, if you don't want to, the textures or nothing. Export textures, false, you can just get the base mesh if you want it here. I believe there's other types that you can export it as. Wavefront, PL, XYZ, Point Cloud. And you just hit export and it exports it and you get this model from that data notice 8.5 million faces you have these two artifacts here that can be removed really easy It even meshes the inside. I'm really happy with that. Seem to give it the appropriate thickness as well for this item. Uh, the real world characteristic it's about I don't know four millimeters thick eighth of an inch now let's compare that with a s comparable one from smart 3d that I'm, I've been getting Now I got managed to get a decent model out of this, but open out directory.
this is the first production of it through Smart TV Capture. And it's not bad, not bad at all. But you still have these artifacts here. This doesn't line up right. Reality Capture managed to do all this right the first time without any editing. Plus, if you can go through the workflow of this one, you can see that each one of these blocks is an arrow triangulation where we're trying to determine the tie points and the location of the cameras. Like this is one of the first go around. Now this is one of the later go arounds where it manages to mesh all the cameras together. But this took quite a lot of time and reality capture was one, I don't know, maybe five, one twentieth of the time with re reality capture. It was way faster. But this is the workflow on Smart 3D Capture is you submit photos and then you submit an arrow triangulation of these photos. And you have some settings here to use all the photos and positioning of the block. These settings like how how ex how precise do you want it? Then you submit that. It'll begin running and it'll it takes a lot longer than reality capture. After you have the 3D the uh, the points at a good position. But even these are far cry from what I'm getting on the other software. Then after you get that, you can submit a reconstruction. And you get the original, which is this one. Which isn't bad. It's fine. You can run multiple reconstructions on it. And this is the Smart 3D version. It has only 480,000 faces, not 8.5 million. But the texture is wrong, and I had to fix this on the edge. It, it was wrong when I first did it. I believe I had to fix this part as well. And it does not capture the inside of the foot. Whereas, whereas as we compare it to the reality capture model here, I didn't have to edit this one at all. <clears throat> it captures these lines and textures very accurately. Alright, so now we see 
in-depth texture is a extremely dense but very clean mesh. I'm really happy with those results. But I'm happy with the results from, you know, Smart 3D Capture over here. They're fine as well, but Yeah, that's extremely dense mesh. Extremely dense. You can see the coloration's a little different from one to the other, even with the same lighting conditions. But this is an actually a more accurate representation of the actual item, I think. It managed to get all of it without any artifacts. That's the way the solder is on the bottom of it. That's the way that crack is. That's the way it is. Um, and this one's far faster than this one. This one took a lot of work. This one took you know a couple hours probably. This one's far better. The winner is definitely Reality Capture.